Okay. That poinsettias are actually uh, natural acid-based indicators. Who knew? So, you know, when you guys have to figure out what to do with your poinsettias after Christmas, and instead of throwing them in the garbage, take a pair of scissors to them, chop them up, take the red leaves, and um, put them in a pot with some boiling water, and eventually what you'll get is this. And it's basically, here, let me use a spoon like to show you. Juice. It does look like beet <laughs> juice. And um, so this is, this, was, this was the leaves. They used to be bright red. And I boiled them for about five minutes, and I ended up with this really cool dark red or purple mm -hmm. liquid, right? Mm -hmm. now, normally people, you know, do this with purple cabbage, so I was so excited to figure out that you could actually do recycle your right. poinsettias to do science. Okay, so basically we've talked about acid bases before on the show, but basically when you combine an acid and a base, they kind of get together and explode and, and cause a volcano, yeah. um, and, and kids find that super fascinating. But um, this is just about making a color-changing sort of rainbow. So what we're going to do is use the acid base indicator to figure out which of these three mystery liquids, one's an acid, one's neutral, one's water, and one's a base, okay? And, and every acid-base indicator is different, so they turn different colors. This one, through my own experiments, I figured out that acids are going to turn sort of pink and red, and bases are going to turn sort of yellow and brown, okay? Oh, cool. So if you guys want to each grab a dropper, and All just right. usual, usual, and obviously at home you can just use a spoon. Oh, it doesn't matter. And this, we're going to put it in the, in the just, liquid. Yeah, just go ahead and drop it in the liquid. All and see of what, it. Yeah, see what color it turns. Mine turned brown, cool. yellow brown. Mine cool, cool, cool. Orange, yellow. And then the middle one is probably then just water. Yeah. So what? It just disappears in the water. Yeah. Well, it, what's happening is there's like there's a, a chemical reaction happening between the dyes that were in the poinsettia, the natural dyes, and the acids and the bases. So um, you can use it to do all kinds of experiments in your house. Your house is full of acids and bases, especially your refrigerator, right. like orange juice, lemon juice. And then this, um, the base I use is actually mildew remover because it has ammonium chloride. I think it's ammonium Ooh, chloride in it, which is a very strong chemical, mm -hmm. um, and it's a base. Okay, so anyway, cool. you can do, just do this endlessly. <clears throat> so this will think it's very entertaining. Because yes. it's brown, uh, right. yellow, yes. and that one. Yes. And you know, you, know, you, and you follow you direction. I love it. I learned something. Well, what's cool <laughs> for kids, too, is pointing out that chemical reactions, one way to tell there's been a chemical reaction, is a color change. It's, it's always an indication right. that something different has happened to so that What did you use substance. for vinegar and Clorox or Th something? This is vinegar. Uh -huh. This is water. And this is um, mildew removal, which has ammonium chloride. Right in it. Right. If, if you uh, be, be really careful, caution when you're pouring this stuff out in your sink. If you start using household chemicals, make sure you don't combine them because sometimes right. household Some chemicals can combine and create a gas that you do not want to breathe. Absolutely. Right. Be super Dangerous. duper careful. Yep. But it's fun to experiment with food substances and things like that. Like oh, this is a favorite. Juice. This next one.